Okay, Jacques, thanks for doing this. You had mentioned uh, after the game last night that you were going to identify a few things that you wanted to work on on the practice ice, um, and it was pretty clear that you had specifics and specific drills this morning. Yeah, I, I think, you know, we had a, a good meeting before before practice today. I think, you know, I think we did uh, some excellent things. I, I think the, our play in the offensive zone, especially in the first period, I thought was outstanding, and I think it was our, our second goal. Uh, I don't know if you people noticed, but we had one line that was controlling the puck in the offensive zone. I think it was the uh, uh, Timmy's line, and we made a change, a complete change. You know, two guys came off, Timmy hold on to the puck, got help, put it down. We made a completely complete change, and then we finally score a goal with, with the other line. So to me, there was a lot of uh, positive things from, from that standpoint, working the puck from low to high. Uh, shots from the defenseman shooting for tips, uh, establishing layers in front of the goalie. Mm -hmm. So, I, so I think there's there's a lot of positive from the game. Uh, I just felt the, the second part uh, of our uh, meeting is uh, we change our, our neutral zone forecheck. I felt that uh, we got into a mode of uh, of defending instead of putting pressure. I, I believe uh, for this team to be successful, we have to be a team that's going to pressure puck. We want to spend time in the offensive zone, not in not in our own zone. So, I felt that we we gave Arizona the red line too easily, especially the second and third period. Consequently, spending a lot of time defending in our zone. Sounds like you want to play from your toes and not your heels. Um, that being said, to do that, there's a real um, a, a mental. Uh, aspect of the game that that uh, allows a player to do that. Is that an area that you have to work on? Yeah, for sure. I think that that's uh, that's a big hurdle right now, and I think uh, you know we've addressed it, and, and we're going to work on it uh, uh, on a daily basis. I, I think that's the first part. The second part then is understanding what the assignments are on the ice, and that's why we we did a lot of teaching on the ice this morning as well. So I, I feel that it's going to give us a better opportunity to be successful, but it has to be uh, in hand. We need to have that, that approach that uh, we're going to play uh, three periods of how we played the first period last evening. As you go about making adjustments as the season goes on, how important is open communication with this leadership group? Well, I think that's really important. I mean, you need to have your leaders uh, understand and explain the reason why we're making those changes and make sure that they're on board with it. Um, I, I don't think that's an issue. I think this group is uh, is eager to, to, to learn and, and try to improve. And I think, you know, uh, and that's one of the benefits of having, like, you know, a coaching staff like Alfie that had a really successful career. Um, you know, and uh, we come from organization uh, that have been successful. So I think that helps to uh, to sell what you, you want to sell to the team. But... Uh, Every decision is made for us to, to be better, and um, I think that's, uh, that's what we're going to work on a daily basis. As this road trip kind of comes to an end, it doesn't get any easier facing recent Stanley Cup champion in the Avs. What, uh, what do you expect to see from them tomorrow? Well, I expect them uh, you know, to play at the, at the best of their game. Uh, they're a team that has uh, great speed, uh, great uh, good defense. Uh, you know, there's a reason they won the Stanley Cup, but the game is played on the ice, and I think that uh, if we play to our strength, uh, we have a chance of winning. I think uh, the key is to to be able to uh, keep our same mindset for 60 minutes. What is it like to get a pass that you got last night and that feeling of a perfect one-timer that slips underneath the bar? Um, yeah, it's a good feeling. It's a... Uh... Now, obviously something that I haven't had in a while so um, yeah just try to get some good wood on it and um, you know Sandy's been giving me good passes and I just got to convert on him so um, yeah it was a good uh, confidence boost. Coach said after the game uh, last night that he was going to identify some things that needed work on and it looked as though some of those things were identified and worked on on the practice ice today. A little bit different uh, approach and look to practice today. Yeah, a lot of, um, you know, neutral zone stuff and, um, you know, we've changed a few things. So just focusing on that and, and cleaning that up and, um, yeah, that was the main, you know, focal point to today in practice. How welcomed is that? How what, sorry? How welcomed is that, uh, the changes? And uh, are you grasping that with an anticipation and a look towards the future and success in the future? 
Yeah, I mean, um, you know, sometimes change is good, and um, there's, you know, new voices in the room right now, and it's just a new feeling, and, um, you know, it's the, the message has been, you know, really good so far and really positive, and, um, you know, just trying to get back on track and, and um, you know, get the boat headed in the right direction. Josh, I'm sure you're not much for uh, personal accolades, but you've had goals in three straight and five in the last seven games. What can you say about where your game's at right now? Um, yeah, I think I was, you know, just trying to be patient and, um, you know, play a 200-foot game. And I think, um, you know, obviously I've gotten rewarded a little bit, but I just think, um, you know, my play has been better and I've played better away from the puck. And, um, you know, obviously got a couple on the power play, which helps and gives you some confidence. But, um, you know, just trying to do my part and, you know, feel like I'm coming back into my own again. This uh, road trip doesn't get any easier facing Colorado tomorrow. What do you kind of expect to see from them? Oh, they fly around and um, they make plays and play hard and they're good defensively. So um, loud building, fun building to play in. And, um, you know, I, I think it's just, you know, about us and, you know, how we're going to be prepared. And, um, you know, tomorrow is a new day and, and um, a new test for us. So um, just got to get up and, and, you know, do our best. A little bit different look on pra on the practice ice uh, this morning here. What, uh, in your words, what, uh, how was it uh, run? Yeah, it was great. I mean, I think uh, obviously we need to make a few adjustments with the, the way things have been going lately, and um, you know, I guess we'll we'll find out tomorrow kind of how they work. But I think uh, you know, guys are liking them, and um, it might take a, a little bit to really understand it and um, you know work out the kinks. But I think we're excited about it. Almost embracing the teaching uh, aspect of everything, right? Yeah, for sure. And when you got a, a guy like Alfie kind of showing you the ropes, it's uh, it's pretty cool and definitely a guy uh, you want to listen to and learn from. So um, yeah, like I said, we're I think I think we're excited about the changes, and you know, hopefully it can kind of turn this thing around a bit. This is your, your first venture into Colorado, uh, an opportunity tomorrow to play a, a, a team that pretty recently won a Stanley Cup here. What are your thoughts on going up against the likes of uh, McKinnon and company? Yeah, I think obviously they've got a, a lot of high-end guys and, um, you know, with the altitude thing, I think uh, out there in practice you feel it a little bit. So I think just being mindful of that tomorrow, you know, playing against some, some high-end skaters and uh, trying to keep shifts short and, and just be smart with our, our puck management. Over this road trip, you played with uh, Jake Sanderson, now playing with Eric Branstrom. How do you feel like your chemistry is building throughout the this defensive core? Yeah, I mean, it's fun playing with both those guys. I really can't complain either way. So um, I think just on a nightly basis, you got to be ready to play with whoever and, uh, you know, whoever the coaches feel that um, kind of the best matchups, uh, you know, will work out. So, uh, but Brandy and Sandy are both uh, great skaters. They both talk a lot to me. So it's uh, it's been fun playing with both of them.